Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. Have you ever been on a situation that you cannot find a available network at the Wi-Fi list your network? So in my case, I cannot find the Wi-Fi that I need to connect at my home. In this video, I'll show you how you can fix this issue. So I can see any other Wi-Fi here on the list, but I cannot see my Wi-Fi. What exactly we need to do? I'll show you on this video. The steps are done on Windows 11, but they are pretty much the same if you are doing them on Windows 10. A temporary solution would be that you open the hotspot from your phone and then you connect your Wi-Fi. In case that, for example, you want to download a specific driver for your network, an option could be that first you connect the hotspot of your phone with your laptop, so you will have more flexibility to apply different methods to fix these issues on your computer. So now the first thing that we have to do, we have to open settings. So we go to search and we search for settings. And then from the options on the left, we need to click over network and internet. And then on the right, we're going to choose advanced network settings. So here we have to make sure that those network adapters are enabled. For my case, for example, Wi-Fi, we need to make sure that it's not disabled. So if I click over disable, the Wi-Fi will be disabled. If I click enable, the Wi-Fi will be enabled. So this is the first thing that you need to try. Try to disable and enable your Wi-Fi network card and check if then it will show on the list of the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi that you are searching for. If that will not work, then the next step is to do a network reset. So by doing a network reset, your Wi-Fi passwords will be gone and every known Wi-Fi network will be gone but you just have to log in again with a password on those Wi-Fi's. So practically it will reset the network data. This will remove then reinstall all your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards such as VPN client software or virtual switches. I think that this is really helpful in cases that you have Wi-Fi issues. So just click over reset now and this will reset your PC and it will restart your PC. If this method again didn't work, the next thing that you need to try is to open device manager. We go again at search and we type here device manager. Once you see the device manager, you click on it in order to open and then you need to search for network adapters. So from the list of these settings here, you find network adapters and I will need to find the wireless adapter. In my case, it's this one, Intel Dual Band Wireless. We click on it with the right of the mouse and then we try to disable the device and then we will enable it again just to try if this will help to identify the network that is missing on the list of the available networks. So I'm just going to disable and enable it back again. Now, the next thing that you need to try is to update the driver of this wireless adapter. So we click again with the right of the mouse and then we choose update driver. Now normally the best thing that you can do is to search automatically for drivers but this will work in case that you have connection with a hotspot for example on your PC. In the case that you cannot find an alternative to connect your PC with the Wi-Fi, then you have to click over second option, browse from my computer for drivers. And then from here, I'm going to click over, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And then here it is, two different options of the drivers for network adapter or for wireless adapter that are already on my PC. So I'm going to choose one of them and then I'll click over next. And this will reinstall the driver of the wireless adapter. So the best method would be to search automatically for drivers and this will install the drivers that are needed. But in my case, I don't have internet, so I'm just going to use the second option, which is to choose from the list of the available drivers. And now the last thing that you have to try is to open your router and to make sure that the radio networks for 2.4 and for 5 gigahertz is enabled. In case that you have an old PC and the 2.4 network is not activated in your router then you will not be able to find because you have an old PC. You can test this for example if you are able to find the Wi-Fi on your phone but you cannot find it with your PC then the possibility could be that on your router you may need to activate this 
radio network for 2.4 gigahertz because by default the new routers could have only the 5 gigahertz network radio activated. The settings how to do that it depends on different uh, router that you may have at your home but for that you can ask also your internet service provider to assist you to do that. So let's give it a try and let's check once again the Wi-Fi if it's showing on my case. Here we are, Nael Posse, which is my Wi-Fi that I was searching, is showing now on the list. So please try those methods that I showed and hopefully it will help you to find a solution for these kind of issues which you cannot see your network on the list. There are some other methods that you can try if you are having issues with the Wi-Fi and i have done another video for that and please find the link on the description below and please leave your comment below and tell us which method did help you to fix this issue thank you very much for watching and please consider subscribing to our channel if you like our content all the best